Hello, and welcome to Boom Boom Island. This, <laughs> this is my place where I collect sand. So that is what I'm here to do. There's not a lot of sand left, I'll admit, but whatever's left, whoop, whatever is left, I will try to collect because I'm getting low. Well, I'm really sorry there wasn't a video last week. Unfortunately, like I said, there was a huge audio issue where it, it grabbed the audio from the wrong microphone and then it overlaid that on top of all of the video audio. It was just a whoa, just an unusable mess. So I opted not to make it. That is all the TNT that I have, and now for the fun part. The fun part. The fun part! There we go, goodness. That's a pretty good amount for just a couple of blocks of TNT. Crunch. That's about right. And boop. And boop. Hey, hey, no, wait. Sheep! Sheep! Run! Okay. That sheep stared death in the face and didn't even react. I can shoot, I swear. I swear I'm usually good with a bow. It's just when I'm recording. I'm running around collecting all of the items while being chased by all of the mobs because I can't find my bed. It's not in my ender chest. I think it's back still on my island. Stop hitting me! Okay, I think I'm done. Let me just get out of harm's way. Ooh. Alright, no drops to be found. Very good. I think I am free to leave. That is a pretty good amount of sand, if I do say so myself. Plus a bunch of other various and sundry blocks. Slinky had some confusion in his last episode about how to use my shulker unloader, so I will demonstrate here. You push the button in the bar, and that is literally it. Uh, there's also the, the double chest, where you can dump a bunch of loose items, and they'll all get filtered or dumped. Easy as that. Shut up. So, let me fill you in on everything I did last week that uh, unfortunately didn't make it into a video. First we'll start in the shopping district where I have built this fairy fountain for the Olays. You may think I had forgotten about them, and that's kind of because I didn't end up needing them in the same way that I thought I did, but at least they're available to all of the server members. They can always just come on down, open up the shulker, and grab their Ali, Ali, Alay breeding materials. At the record, uh, maybe I should add some leads in there as well, just in case they don't bring their own. Yeah, here we go, got a couple in there. I don't think anyone's really gonna need them, but you never know. It's just a nice thing to have sometimes. This build is inspired by a game I used to play called Monument Valley, which was like a geometry puzzle game. You can see all those funky angles. I was trying to match it up with the build right next to it that Guild made so that it wouldn't be too out of place. 
I think it turned out rather nice. So here's the, the full view from all angles. So now let's uh, recap what else I did last week. First I worked on the boiler room for a while. After that I finished all of the walls of the hotel build so that we have a nice clean slate to work on. Then I hit the caves under Slinky's base in search of axolotls, which I did end up finding, thankfully. I then put the axolotls in a tank in my restaurant. I named the pretty one Happy and the other one Tuck because he kept getting stuck in the sandcastle that I made. Then as you can see, I continued work on the fountain. Here's a bit of the build through process. So here I am in my restaurant, just wondering what's making that weird blub blub sound. It turns out axolotls have a weird chirping noise they make, and I never knew this. Yeah, that little blub 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 blub. Oh, uh, any, anyway, I'm gonna get started on the detailing of the backside of the exterior now. <laughs> Time to see if my sign worked out. I've been working on that in GIMP. Uh, here. Hmm. Okay, so I might have forgotten a step. <laughs> it's not supposed to be white. That was just me trying to get the main shape of it. Yeah, that looks horrible. Hold on. <laughs> and Preston Changeo. Oh, the color is a bit off from what I designed it to be. It's supposed to be copper colored. Uh, I'll leave it for now. I went a little overboard on doing the exterior. I thought I was only going to do going to do the back, but I've gotten really passionate about this project all of a sudden, and I want to take advantage of that. So with that, there comes this interesting creative challenge in that I don't think anywhere in the film we ever see the quote-unquote front of the hotel. So that's what I'm working on now. I'm trying to figure out this gazebo thing that hotels sometimes have. And then once I'm finished that, I think I'll make a big ol' sign here, or something. Eh, we'll figure it out as we go. Give it some color variation with some nice stripes here. And the reason I went with cyan is because all of the roof is orange, and if the gazebo were also orange, it would just blend in too well, and it wouldn't feel like... It would feel like roof tiles, because everything else, contextually, all of the roof tiles are orange. So there we go. I think I'll do the bottom as well, since it's supposed to be some sort of fabric material. Hmm. Yes, that is an improvement. Okay, thoughts? I'm not sure I like this wraparound balcony just yet. So that's one side where it doesn't wrap around. Hmm. And then it wraparounds on this side. I didn't end up wrapping it around, in case you were wondering. So now I'm just working on a little roof section for that. I've decided against the wraparound balcony for now. I wasn't sure I liked it. Besides, there was no wraparound balcony in the original. However, I like to keep in mind that this is still my project and I can do whatever the heck I want with it. Like, add that. Mmm, maybe I should wrap the roof, the roof line around. I don't like how that sticks out. More windows again. By the way, please do keep in mind that, like I mentioned before, 
Even though it might look a bit plain now, these are just the base colors. I will work out the details and the shading later on. I'm thinking a sandstone walkway slash entryway here that'll lead into the gardens in the back. Really all I'm doing is putting off the custom trees for as long as possible. <laughs> I mean, a part of me is excited to try and tackle them, but mostly it just sounds incredibly frustrating because they're mostly vertical instead of horizontal, so if I mess up, it's a lot of up and down and up and down and... Huh, alright, that looks okay. It's a lot of levitation wand or ender pearls or water buckets and water buckets leaf what leaf block uh, water block leaves now so that makes it even more difficult. Yeah, I like that. O I D R A A N. And that spells Oidran or Adriano in this case. I'm not 100% sure I like that sign to be honest. I don't know why. But I... I mean, if necessary, I'll use another custom image. I've added banners under them to make them longer, and I added glow item frames to make them glow at night. And it's still not really working for me, but maybe it'll grow on me. Unlike the things that grow on my base. But you know what? It's time for a change of scenery. Enough of my base. Welcome to Burn's base. Now, Burn's base... As cool as this is, and I need to look at this up close actually, hold on. I've only seen this on the Discord, so seeing it in person, it's a lot bigger than I thought. But uh, as you can see here, Burns Base is just the most random collection of assorted junk I have ever seen. And I, I don't mean that in a weird way. He's got his own way of playing Minecraft. It's just very chaotic. But then he goes and builds this thing, and I'm not really sure what to say. That is so cool. Okay, he's got an AFK platform. Why does the AFK platform have bamboo? I don't understand. That's his villager hall over there, next to the actual village, next to the gorgeous forest he's around. I random like I don't even know where to start here. There's so much random chaos. Got amethyst. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. No, I wanted to land on top, but I forgot. And I'm now in what I can only assume is an iron farm. Hello there, friend. I used to have two parrots once. Now I only have one. Uh, anyway, so he's got his nether shrooms, he's got his cac cacti on a beacon, he's got four, tra five trader llamas, his bee house, this random platform of water. Can I jump in that? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, is this for dripstone, actually? I hear the dripping. Oh, okay, so at least this has some sort of functional purpose. But why does he need dripstone? He's got more mushrooms over there. Random dragon head. I... What is this? What is this area? I don't understand. I don't understand what is going on here. Why is the water flowing like that? Why is there a disemboweled farm? None of this makes any sense. It's just got anvils out in the open. Along with an unsorted bunch of chests. His first diamond. I'm surprised a skeleton hasn't shot that out of its item frame yet. Oh. Crazy bee hut. I'm gonna get out. Thank you. That's cool that he has that. His pumpkin patch. Random mangrove tree. Cocoa beans. Bamboo. He's only able to do this because we can silk touch amethyst. Oh, hello. Why are you a thing? I will never know. Can I get up there? No, oh, I guess I can't get through there. Hold on. Wee. 
Let's see what secrets Burn keeps inside the mysterious purple orb. Survey says... Nothing, by the looks of it. Maybe some redstone stuff. Is this part just open? Probably so we can get in. But to do what? Okay, I see a clock. Yep, okay, that's currently running. I don't see anything in the rings other than a hole. Uh-huh. Ooh, that's, that's a cool perspective. All right, what's this bamboo about? It's about 12 blocks tall, and that's all there is to it. Okay, cool. What about this? Okay, platforms. Okay, so it's a mob farm. Interesting. Is that just going all of the time, though? I don't think I've ever seen a mob farm look like this, so that's really cool. I was about to leave, and then I saw this guy. I don't remember anything about that. Ah! I... Okay. Well, I think that's all I'm going to do today, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe, but absolutely no pressure. And I will see you next time. Bye.